The story begins with Rent, a low-level bronze-class adventurer, is on a quest in a dungeon to improve his status. His life takes a shocking turn when he encounters a monstrous, winged creature with incredible strength and a menacing appearance, resembling a giant Digimon with two mouths. Despite his terror and realization that he cannot win, Rent faces the beast, which eventually devours him. Surprisingly, Rent survives the encounter but finds himself transformed into a skeleton. This drastic change fills him with horror and disbelief as he contemplates his existence and the implications of being undead. Rent reflects on his past life, where he was just a lowly adventurer from a small town, taking jobs from the Adventurer's Guild. Despite his solo ventures and ten years of experience, Rent's progress as an adventurer was modest. Determined to understand his new undead state and potential immortality, Rent decides to avoid returning to town, fearing he would be captured or executed. He learns about existential evolution, where creatures evolve into higher forms over time. Rent then sets a new goal, to evolve from a skeleton into a ghoul, which would allow him to blend into society better due to its flesh-like appearance. In the dungeon, Rent battles various creatures, including skeletons and slimes, to achieve this goal. He utilizes his spirit energy, mana, and divinity in combat. During his fights, Rent discovers that he can absorb spirit energy from his defeated enemies, aiding his evolution. Back in town, Rent's friend is unaware of his transformation and continues life as usual. Meanwhile, Rent, now in the labyrinth, battles relentlessly, learning that he no longer feels human needs like sleep or hunger. His physical abilities gradually return, and he continues using his divinity, surprisingly retained despite his undead status. Rent faces various challenges in the labyrinth, including a slime, which he defeats by luck, striking its core. After the battle, he collects the slime's magic stone and goo for later use. Meanwhile, at the guild, there's talk of a newbie looking for a party, unaware that Rent, the recommended companion, is undergoing a significant transformation. As Rent continues his quest, he reflects on his life, feeling down about his lack of progress despite having spirit energy, mana, and divinity. However, he remains determined to achieve his goal of becoming a Mithril-class adventurer, the highest rank known for saving nations. Rent's persistence pays off when, after defeating more skeletons and a slime, his body undergoes a significant transformation, evolving him into a ghoul. This new form, a creepy dried-out corpse, brings him closer to his goal, and he even contemplates evolving further into a vampire. He navigates a dungeon, tactically fighting overweight goblins by using the dungeon's layout to his advantage. Rent realizes he's become stronger than he ever was as a human, especially in his ability to enhance his physical abilities and his sword. During his dungeon exploration, Rent hears a commotion and discovers a blonde girl from the guild, Rena, fighting a skeleton. Despite longing for human interaction, Rent refrains from approaching her, aware of his hideous ghoul appearance. Instead, he opts to observe her discreetly. He recognizes her inexperience and notes her lack of attention to her surroundings, which almost leads to her downfall against another skeleton. Rent intervenes to save her, revealing his ghoul identity. Rena initially reacts in fear, but Rent convinces her he's not a threat. Rent explains his situation to Rena, who agrees to help him by buying him a robe to disguise his ghoul appearance, allowing him to return to town. Rena, showing thoughtfulness and compassion, not only brings him a robe but also other items like bandages, boots, and gloves. However, a cheap mask she buys for him turns out to be cursed and sticks to his face. They form an alliance, and she shares her aspirations to become a stronger adventurer. As they approach the town of Mauld, Rent is concerned about causing trouble for Rena, given his ghoul status. At the town gate, they manage to convince the guards of Rent's condition, attributing his appearance to a cursed mask and injuries. However, Rent suddenly vanishes, leaving Rena behind. He acknowledges her potential as an adventurer but decides to seek help from a more suitable human collaborator, someone who can keep secrets. Lorraine, a philosopher with extensive knowledge of mages and monsters, is anxiously waiting for news from Rent. She's been concerned about his whereabouts for many days, contemplating seeking help from the guild. However, before she can act, Rent unexpectedly knocks on her door. To hide her worry, Lorraine feigns sleep. Upon entering, Rent, now transformed into a ghoul, playfully threatens to beat her with a book, startling Lorraine. She is shocked by his transformation, as such a case is unprecedented even in her wide breadth of knowledge. Rent, aware of Lorraine's academic perspective, feels like he's being treated more as a research subject than a friend. Rent explains that he can't enter the guild in his ghoul form and needs Lorraine's help to undertake quests on his behalf. Despite his transformation, he remains determined to achieve his dream of becoming a mithril rank adventurer. Lorraine agrees to assist, but in exchange, she wants to study his condition closely, including analyzing his skin and flesh. The following morning, Lorraine visits the guild and sells slime, liquid, and other items, obtaining a substantial amount of money. 
Rent uses this money to commission a new sword from a blacksmith. His ghoul appearance initially frightens people, including the blacksmith's wife, but his kindness reassures them. He reveals to her his ability to use divine power, asking her to keep it a secret. Lorraine dedicates herself to researching ghouls, learning about their typical characteristics and diet. Rent's case intrigues her as he retains his emotional memory, a trait not common in ghouls. In a flashback, Lorraine recalls a younger version of herself, already a silver rank adventurer and the youngest professor, on a quest in a Zul forest. She is joined by Rent, then an iron level beginner who she initially underestimates. However, Rent surprises her by collecting many herbs and demonstrating his knowledge of monsters, highlighting his commitment to adventuring in his role in ensuring her safety. This encounter changes Lorraine's perception of Rent, revealing his capabilities and dedication. Then Lorraine faces a dangerous monster with evil intentions. Despite her high rank, she is initially terrified and unsure how to respond. Rent, displaying heightened senses and tactical knowledge, advises her to use Fodia Borvis, a powerful spell. Lorraine successfully uses this to create a fireburst, eliminating the monster, which impresses and surprises Rent. Rent, realizing Lorraine's lack of practical experience in combat despite her powers, attributes this to her usually being accompanied by guards on her quests, which shields her from direct encounters with monsters. Acknowledging her need to develop fighting skills and knowledge of herbs, Lorraine requests Rent to teach her, to which he agrees. Through this, they spend significant time together, and Lorraine begins to appreciate the concern others have for her well-being. She undergoes personal growth, becoming more aware and appreciative of the people around her. Meanwhile, Rent meets with the ironsmith to commission a new sword. The ironsmith's wife, understanding Rent's urgent need, lends him an alternative sword with the caution that it should not be used beyond its capabilities. The ironsmith and his wife are concerned about Rent, sensing he is under a curse or suffering from a grave issue, but respect his privacy and do not pry into his problems. Back at Lorraine's home, she prepares a meal for Rent, but as a ghoul, he lacks the desire for food. Lorraine shares her analysis of Rent's condition, noting that his transformation into a ghoul is unlike others and might be due to an existential evolution. Rent is hopeful for a future where he might evolve into a form closer to humans, and he believes that fighting monsters in the labyrinth will aid in this evolution. Lorraine, observing Rent's determination, realizes that despite his transformation, he remains the Rent she knows. Then we see a man fighting a slime in the labyrinth faces imminent defeat. Rent, appearing like an angel, rescues the man by effortlessly eliminating the slime. The man, a cook facing bankruptcy and needing gold coins to save his establishment, shares his plight with Rent. Initially reluctant, Rent agrees to help the man, allowing him to assist with carrying stuff. After Rent and a companion, Lorraine's venture into a secret path known only to Rent. Despite Lorraine's initial skepticism, he is amazed to discover the hidden route. However, they soon encounter a complication. A teleportation rune, visible only to Rent, transports Lorraine to another world filled with formidable monsters. Rent, driven by a sense of responsibility, follows him. In this new world, they face a giant skeleton, a powerful monster that Rent initially struggles to defeat. Despite using his spirit strength and mana, Rent finds his attacks ineffective against the giant skeleton. Left with no other choice, Rent resorts to using his divine power, despite warnings from the ironsmith not to do so. This proves effective, and Rent manages to defeat the skeleton, earning a significant victory. After the battle, Rent tends to Lorraine, who has lost consciousness during the encounter. Upon waking, Lorraine is stunned by the sight of the defeated monster and Rent's strength. Rent discovers a large gemstone, presumably valuable, within the remains of the giant skeleton. In a generous gesture, he decides to give the gemstone to Lorraine, who hesitates to accept it. Rent assures him that he expects something in return, not monetary compensation but assistance with errands, as Rent's school appearance prevents him from going about normal tasks. Loris agrees, and Rent also secures free meals at Loris' restaurant. Upon returning to the Red Dragon Pavilion, Loris' wife Isabel is relieved and grateful to see her husband safe. Loris explains that Rent's help led to their ability to save their restaurant. Isabel is initially skeptical of Rent's intentions, but is reassured by Loris that Rent only seeks minor help in return. Rent, after witnessing the couple's reunion and love, decides to leave. Loris stops him to ask for his name, which Rent reluctantly gives but cautions them to keep it confidential. Loris and Isabel assure Rent that he is always welcome at their restaurant. As Rent walks back to Lorraine's house, he ponders over Loris' trustworthiness and contemplates the consequences if Loris were to betray him. Reaching Lorraine's house, Rent's school nature seems to be taking over as he fixates on Lorraine's appearance with a predatory gaze. 
However, Lorraine, undisturbed by his changes, is more concerned about some important letters that Rent has neglected. Unexpectedly, Rent loses control over his ghoul instincts in the presence of Lorraine overwhelmed by her scent. He embraces her and then bites her shoulder, driven by a powerful craving for blood. This behavior is uncharacteristic and shocking to Lorraine, leading her to question Rent's identity as he no longer seems to be the person she knew. Reacting to the situation, Lorraine uses her power to render Rent unconscious. Despite the alarming incident, she internally admits she wouldn't mind Rent drinking her blood, provided he was in control of his actions. When Rent regains consciousness, he is disoriented and upset upon realizing that he tried to drink Lorraine's blood. Lorraine, understanding the nature of ghouls, turns her attention to caring for Rent, suggesting he needs rest. Rent, feeling responsible for injuring Lorraine, uses his divine power to heal her wound and remove the scars, miraculously restoring her neck. Following this incident, Rent notices a change in his physical appearance, becoming more human-like, though still with some flaws. He discovers that his cursed mask, which changes according to the wearer's desires, has altered its appearance, but he is unable to remove it. He covers his face, preferring to remain unrecognizable. Lorraine then shares her hypothesis about Rent's transformation. He first became a ghoul to be closer to humans, and upon killing a giant skeleton in the Liberymph, he evolved further. Drinking Lorraine's blood completed a specific requirement, transforming him into a thrall, a creature closer to vampires and thus more human-like. Rent is pleased with this transformation, but Lorraine notes that further changes might require specific conditions and more energy. Lorraine decides to start a research project on Rent, planning to take a sample of his skin. Rent is apprehensive about being used for research but doesn't refuse, willing to do it for Lorraine's happiness. The next day, Rent practices with his sword, realizing his increased strength. However, he notes that his sword is damaged due to the use of divine power, making it unsuitable for future battles. He visits the ironsmith to discuss the damaged sword and the necessity of using divine power against the giant skeleton. The ironsmith, realizing the extraordinary nature of Rent's encounter, provides him with a rare sword while his original one is being repaired. And that's the end of our video. To see more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, until next time, take care.